Okay, they say that the rapture happens in Revelation chapter 4. They're wrong. Because it says in Revelation chapter 6, it says, God says in, in the fifth seal, Revelation chapter 6, verse 9 through 11, God says, wait a little longer until the number is complete of those who are to be put to death for their faith. So the rapture doesn't happen in Revelation chapter 4 because there's still people on the earth who need to be put to death for their faith. Uh, somebody might say, well, there's another rapture that happens before that in Revelation chapter 4. Listen, look at, read Revelation chapter 4 and 5. John is in the throne room. Okay, so in the throne room, there was four living creatures. There was the Lamb of God. There was the throne and someone seated on the throne. And there was 24 elders. Okay, that's all he saw. But look at Revelation chapter 7, 9. Before the Lamb, in seven, chapter 7, verse 9, there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. I assume that's the same Lamb of God in Revelation chapter 4 and 5, where we don't see anybody except for the 24 elders, the, um, the four living creatures, and the Lamb of God, and someone seated on the throne. So, y'all need to figure out what you're going to do because the mark of the beast comes out. We know the rider on the white horse is not the Antichrist because the Antichrist, because if he's the Antichrist, then he, that means he appeared in heaven in the throne room of God and received a crown right in the throne room of God and then rode out of heaven into the earth. You're going to tell me that's that's the Antichrist? Y'all are wrong. And that's why you misquote the scriptures. All pre-tribulation pre teachers completely misquote the scriptures. I was watching a John Hagee video and he, one, he misquoted Revelation chapter 4, he said, God says, come up here. But he didn't, God never said, come up here. God said, come up here and I will show you what, ha what must take place after this. And then later, he adds to scripture in, Revel in Matthew chapter 24, verse uh, 14, he says, now, right in, he said, he told the whole congregation to write, the rapture happens here. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. So he adds, he, he thinks that he can just completely add to God's word. And that was the words of Jesus too that he was adding to. And then subtract from God's word in the book of Revelation. Now, Revelation chapter 22 verse 18 has something very important to say about that. So y'all need to get your, get your heart right because if you're going to teach false teaching about, about the book of Revelation and about any, any scripture... You step into that place of violating Revelation chapter eighteen, chapter 22, verse 18. So, y'all need to think about your teaching before you teach it and get your heart right with God.